I've been uh, one of the lead coordinators in the project since its inception, so that was leading uh, the work on the proposal to get the funding and then when we were successful in leading the coordination team that have managed the project since uh, throughout. And Andrea, what's your, your role? So my role was also to contribute to writing the application for the funding and uh, once we were successful I'm contributing to the day-to-day -day coordination of the project and also coordination of the project activities in Scotland. The main objective of the Scirocco project has been to build on all the work that was done by the B3 Action Group on integrated care. Uh, and so all of that work was done uh, with partners across Europe um, without any funding. And we got it to a point where we had developed a maturity model where regions could self-assess their maturity of their integrated care. Uh, and we realised that in order to make it really accessible and usable, we really needed some funding to do that well, and that's why we thought up Scirocco. For me, the main achievement is around the community that the project has um, developed. So we have we have we're literally uh, kind of a small consortium of ten partners, but throughout the project, we were able to engage with another fifty regions across Europe and uh, in the world, which demonstrate that you know there is really added value and demand for for such work. So. I'm really pleased by the level of engagement and also successful stories and experiences of the regions that have tested it. And for me, the value is, is the tool and the processes that have been developed. So we've left a legacy. So when the project finishes, those tools and uh, processes and guidelines are all there for regions to use as they see fit. Uh, and as Andrea says, we have this community that's growing and basically every day we get asked if, uh, you know, for interest and people expressing interest in using it in their local region. So I think the value of the community is uh, certainly something that's really uh, expanded and exploited the, the tools that we've developed. So we are uh, hoping to continue with providing this service around the tools. So, uh, I mean, as I was saying, there is a high demand and interest. So we are. We will do our best to continue providing this service and also we are currently under the grand agreement negotiation to continue with the new project called Shiroko Exchange which will build on the achievements of the currently funded Shiroko project.